Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? Kevin here coming at you with another video. Well there she is, chugging away. I got no gas tank, so she's gonna spell out in a little bit. So I got the idle down nice and low. That is with the CDI ignition. Headlight. Tail light. You can see that it's pretty bright out here. I'm using a two-stroke oil mix in the tank to run the engine because to get the air out of the fuel line. So you have the oil line. Creeping up there, it'll go. I'm not worried about it, so that's why I put the premix in the in the car first. Run it through until I get all the um, what do you call it, the oil out. But she runs absolutely awesome. Very very happy with it. I got a little heavy on the oil. Drop my screw out of the uh, plate. I got to tighten that up. No leaks. There she goes. She's out of fuel now. Nice and smooth. Very, very happy with the way this thing runs. This thing is an animal. So now when you put it in gear, it'll um, it goes into gear, but it'll stay running, so it doesn't die out. Um, it had an issue with the. Uh, I got some stuff on it from over here. Um, it had an issue with it when. You put the um, thing in gear, it will just die out. So, turns out, talking to a buddy of mine, we came up with the uh, conclusion that it had the wrong um, spacer thrust washer. In it. So, switch that out, and now it's all good to go. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, um, bike runs great. I wanted to, um, you know, thank everybody involved for helping me with that. We just got to brace up the tank, that's all that's left. Clear the tank. Um, you know clean it put the um, the kit into it which I got the poor uh, 15 POR 15 and then we'll go from there so I'm very 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 happy with the way this thing runs very happy um, in fact uh, I, I can't wait to get the tank on this and get this thing into the lineup so with the rust it's got on it right now and the way it sits it's gonna go the way it is in the picture with the tank once the tank is all done um, before it gets restored because I want to get a picture of all four bikes before they get restored and then we're just going to do we're going to bust out one at a time but I'm very very happy with the way it runs I'm very happy so when you're sitting on the bike now and now she's in gear and it doesn't move doesn't want to move or oh, that doesn't want to go forward a little bit but that's typical She wants to go, guys. There we go. Got her in neutral. Got her in neutral. The oil's moving up in there. Out of gas. And now the oil line is full. So it's going to get any air ruts in there out, um, and that's why I used the two-stroke mix. So it worked out pretty well. Um, very, like I said, guys, very, very happy with the way this thing came out. A lot of help uh, went into this bike to get it to where it's at now. And to all my friends involved with helping me out behind the scenes, thank you very much. This is my first KV75. Um, all the other bikes I've done on my own, the KMs, the KDs, all that, the KEs, all that stuff. 
I've done on my own. This has been one of the craziest builds to find parts, to get parts. It's been a nightmare. But I've had some good friends who have helped me along the way to get this bike to where it's at now. So a special thank you to them. Um, going forward on the bike, we're going to just keep plugging away at it. We're going to um, take the wheels off. We're going to clean the wheels. We're going to do all that type of stuff. See, the, the wheels and everything need to be cleaned up. There's a lot of rust on the bike. A lot of, uh, as they call, patina, which this bike has got to look immaculate. Uh, I don't want that on the bike. I want the bike to look beautiful. So we're going to be pausing on this bike, and we're going to be um, jumping over to the Chappie um, in the next few videos. So tomorrow, we're going to install the headlight assembly on the Chappie, get the wiring done on that, get the carburetor pulled back off because we got to dial that one in, and then um, that's pretty much it. So this thing has been absolutely awesome to work on. It's been a lot of fun. And once we get the tank done, we'll put the tank on there, and then that's it for that. Um, you guys might notice this little wire right here that's not connected. Um, that actually runs to the back, as I said before, to the brake light. Um, I'm not sure if I want to put a brake light on this thing, but I have it already wired um, if I do. So we have some uh, we have some avenues that we could take on this bike. and um, But for right now, it's going to remain the way it is. I might register this bike. Um turns out that I was able to hunt down the um, original owner for the bike and guess what he's got the title and all the paperwork to it which is in the mail so I really can't complain about that so and he has subscribed to my channel so welcome thank you and um, so he, he was very happy to see this thing um, on the road again older gentleman so he is um, not able to ride or ride any bikes anymore, unfortunately. Um, but he'll be riding it with me and seeing his bike on the uh, on the road again. So thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it, and it was really awesome to get this bike, to just just to be able to get it. So um, I spent through a, a, a fair share of owners, just so you guys know. It's never been registered never been on the road so everything is just basically blank so it's never been legally on the road um which is fine you know we're not going to register it and drive it around the town anyway we might register it throw a plate on it um and probably take it to a park and ride around the park but that's pretty much being in my collection and riding it around and having some fun with it that's going to be its life it's not going to have a over the road life where it's going to have stupid miles put on it <laughs> you know what i mean we're right to the ground you know what i mean but a lot of aftermarket stuff on this bike um like the throttle cable assembly so i was fortunate enough to get that um through vintage kawasaki which worked out pretty well um and a few other pieces parts and pieces I did put a power jet on this carburetor, which I was not going to run on this bike, um, but it works really, really well. Um, and I'll show you how that works. So inside the bowl, there is a tube that goes up the overflow. That overflow tube on the other side is taken off. I'll see if we can see it from the other side. It is right here. It goes up alongside it's a smaller um, fuel line and it goes on to the top of the carburetor right there through a little brass insert in the carburetor and it's only about a quarter of an inch into the carburetor so it only works when the bike is at uh, when you get on the throttle and you can see the fuel that's in the fuel line you can see your float level your fuel level on your float so that worked out pretty well so now you can tell your carburetor's got fuel in it and if um what do you call it there you want you can go ahead and um what do you call it there you get on the throttle with this thing and it's not going to lean out so i decided to do that after the fact but yeah it's pretty cool it's, it is a really cool bike i'm very very happy with it so let's see if it'll nope i gotta choke it so um other than that i gotta i might have to clean the carburetor one more time to get the ports clean but it does run pretty well See if it'll, I don't know if there's enough fuel in it to. Nope. So 
So I gotta I gotta raise that up a little bit, fatten it up and go that route with it. But anyway guys, that's what I got for you for today. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your support and help. And I look forward to keep busting these out. So remember, we're all done with this until we start doing the tank. And then we're going to get on to the uh, Yamaha Chappie for the wife. And we got some cool stuff that came in for that. So anyway guys, I'm off. You guys have a great day. And I'll be talking to you later. Bye.